that, you know, I guess that they can write letters to each other. I've just read somewhere that you're, you can't speak, but you can write a letter, give it to Savannah when she visits. So like, I guess they are corresponding that way, but like, do you think they're going to make it? I mean, married, it's a long time. Yeah, that's what I think. I mean, personally, no. But if they do, if they do, it's probably because he's got more dirt that he's threatening her with, too, because that's how crazy he is. You know, if she stays with him, it's probably not because she wants to. She's probably hasn't seen him in seven years. But it would be because that's how he moves. Like, everybody is on a an agenda. Like, he makes it very clear. Lexi, you get out of line. This is what's going to happen to you. And that's just how he is. No, no bones about it. So she may be scared to leave because he will, you know, make her life a living hell if she tries to say something about him or go. Because think about how much she knows. That's only what the IRS found out about. That means there's probably a hundred, you know, there's a whole bunch more. We don't know of scams they did. I know of a few and I'm just like, well, let's, you know, let it, let it be under the bridge. And you think even from jail, he would do that? Like if she let, he would just spend his time in jail trying to ruin Julie if she was going to leave. Yeah. That's the mixed signals, right? Because a lot of people have told me that you can't do that. Like what Savannah's saying, like the the letters and talking, like that you you can't really communicate with each other. Um, so I guess every jail is different. I don't know if they got that, were they able to really communicate? I don't think they can hear each other's voice at all for this next 12 years. I think my... so too. I think that's right. I think uh, the only thing I read was like, he would hand write a letter and hand it to Savannah or somehow the letter would be to Savannah. And I guess that was okay. And then she would take it something like that, but there would be just a hello to Julie and it's something like that. But I think the jail, I think the way it works is they have to read all your outgoing mail. You can't just send mail out. Right. Right. Exactly. It's restricted. So I don't think you're having like private. Yeah. You can't really do many personal conversations from jail. So I don't think they'll be able to communicate for the next seven years. Hmm. Did, you, I, yeah, go on. Sorry. No, no, no. I just really quick. You know, we talked a little bit about Chloe. We, did we mention, you know, I'm just wondering about Grayson. You know, Grayson had that serious car crash. I mean, Grayson seems like actually maybe the one because he's at that age, right? 15, 16. It's such a critical age. He seems like the one that's maybe suffering the most. I mean, do you think he's really aware of what they're like and the manipulation? And, and how do you think he'll do? I mean, he's now going to be raised by Savannah. Isn't that terrible? I mean, it seems like she's struggling. You know, she said, she said uh, that she couldn't manage with Chloe and Grayson. Did you see that article? And then that's when she kindly came out and said, I won't do any more articles about Chloe and Savannah. It's like, well, it Chloe and Grayson. It's like, well, you've said enough. Um, I, Grayson, he was just a baby, you know, like, so I, I look at him still as a young baby, just like Chloe. Unfortunately, you know, he's going to go through the better part of his adolescent years with no direction from a real adult. And I think that's the worst part is they, they had a very, they were, they only have them really. So there's not many outside sources to step in besides Nanny or Savannah that think that's who's doing it. So. And you think like, at least Savannah and Chase now with all of this, like you are convicted, it's a conviction, like, you think that they still view Todd as like a, our father as a hero and did what he had to do to put food on the table? Oh, yeah. There's that's never going to change. I don't think they're not going to switch their opinion on their father like that. Wow. All right. Can we like cut to the chase here? I mean, no pun intended, but, you know, I mean, Todd's allegedly gay or at least bisexual or, or you know, I mean, Mark Braddock came out in court under oath and basically said they had a long time affair and then, you know, he helped get all this money. Okay, when you were married to Kyle, did you see anything? I mean, did you think Todd was gay? Did you see any? Oh, yeah. I mean, the body, you know, I don't have a, you know, nobody really knows, right? Unless they tell you. He acted <laughs> very, you know, he acted Everybody very feminine. Did it. Yeah, yeah he's every, to be honest, no, everybody he, said that online. I mean, it's not like this is a shocking discussion. Right, it's not a shock. He was in in college, made a whole Daily Mail article about it. I don't know if you read back where this was before Mark ever came out. Like my dad, and he gave stories of things that happened. So Kyle told me many, many stories, and and yeah, I mean, you never know. Someone has to, you know, it's not like I physically ever saw him with a man, but he was always very feminine. He was always very, um, he had 
like one of his close best friends was uh, gay. And that's not really, you know, a cause of concern, but it was like with everything now going on, it looks back and you're like, maybe, you know, and, and it, I don't know. He's denies it. You know, as you see, he adamantly denies it. The kids deny it. He Kyle has always it. said he was. He denies it. Wait, Kyle has always said that he was gay. And and what specifically did Kyle see that makes him think his father is gay? Well, he said like at the office when they worked because he worked at the real estate office. So he would make sexual jokes, sexual gay jokes all the time to the point where it got some people uncomfortable, like some of the women there and uncomfortable. Like, are you trying to, you know, are you doing things with some of the male employees or is this? Yeah, things like that. And, and making comments about, you know, he just talked a lot, but he was very explicit all the time. So you can't really pinpoint it, but he would talk about male body parts as if it was a joke, but like kind of elaborate a little more. You're like, are you curious? I'm shocked like there's not another man or two or however that has come forward, like a Mark Braddock. Yeah. And I'm surprised, Mark, I, I wish we got more info on like, because it was like, is the case sealed or do we know like some scenarios or stories or letters or anything that we've seen? What I've learned with Todd is, is a lot of people don't talk like me. I'm probably the only one first coming out. And I know a lot of people um are starting to now that he's in jail, they will come out. Because look at Bill Cosby, it took him 70 something years and now we're seeing all these people so a lot of times when you see these stories people resurface years later when they feel safe and and why that is is that he'll take and thankfully he doesn't have any dirt on me although he tried to make so much he takes something that somebody did and he'll figure it out and then he'll like hang it over your head and well this is i have absolutely zero basis for this but with mark mark braddock was famously is famously married was married for years has two sons i mean if todd was is gay and was messing around let's say with other men that were bisexual or curious that were married you know a lot of them are not going to want to mess up their marriage so what why come out and say yeah i was with todd i mean you know their wives may have no idea you know i mean again i don't know i don't have any but, but I'm just saying, knowing Todd's behavior from what you've shared today and what we've seen all over the press and the show, it wouldn't be surprising, right? If he had fucked around with married people who, right. you know, have something have, to lose. Exactly. Have something to lose, whether it's in their personal life, their business, re religion, you know, they rely big on religion. Um, Yeah. Do you yeah. think... Well, I was going to say, do you think, you know, 12 part of jail is not just, you know, it's to punishment, it's punish the crime, but it's also, no, this isn't, I'm not going there, believe it or not. Oh, well, okay, I mean, okay. I like, he, he might get a prison boyfriend. Yes. I yeah. mean, it's very possible. Yes. 12 years is a long time. I, really, years is a long I mean, now that your mind did go there, I do yeah. think that that is possible, right? Because he's definitely going to serve a decade. I mean, maybe they knock off two years for good behavior, but I mean, he's there for 10 years. So yeah. he could have a boyfriend. Good. 